Okay, on to the second video in this series then. So this one's all about how to use those alphas that we made in the last video, and I'll link that up above. And in, the, in this video, we're actually gonna take those alphas, the skin and the scales, and we're gonna add surface detail all over our dinosaur. So let's dive right in and start adding that detail. Okay, time for the bit that I call the most fun. Um, so we're going to do the alphas and we're going to make all of the final skin detail. So before we do that, let's, let's do it on a single layer. Now layers are up here at the top right and we've got one there and we're going to name it wrinkles. wrinkles and that means that at any point we can slide the wrinkles on or off um, so the base model um, is as we've seen and we're now adding wrinkles just on one layer and that means as, as you'll see we can slide that on and off so let's go to our uh, alphas and we'll get one of the big wrinkle brushes so we'll take this one for example and we'll go to in fact we should have gone to stamp first just to check so we're on stamp got wrinkle brushes don't forget the big thing here make sure under stroke that you're in custom and you've got the little table format that I showed you and then you can start dragging these onto the surface now let's just see if this makes any mistakes or anything wrong for us no nope, that looks quite good so we've got sub on so if you didn't have sub on you would get this which is you know, it's a big wrinkle coming up on the surface. We don't want that. We want it going down into the surface with a very, very low setting. Oops, didn't have sub on then. I'm going to start at the front underneath. And I'm going to add one pass of this these wrinkles. So I'm going to change the orientation a bit. Don't worry about that. When, when I tap and you see that, like these shadows and things like that, um, you can actually smooth them back a bit um, if, if you want. That mean, that that that's basically where the underlying geometry has gone a bit stretched. So if you do see that, you you can do that before you add, you know, all of these wrinkle passes that we're going to to do. So be careful around the eyes. Just add something subtle. This is the very first pass of of your. Um, of your alphas so you, you know you can do it quite quickly and we can if it goes too aggressive because we've got it on a layer we can bring it back a bit later on which is always useful so I'm just thinking all the way around all wherever there's big creases on a creature and because we've got we've got an we've got an alpha that's like uh, rounded here it, it, it works really well around shoulders and things like that um, I'm moving the lighting just to have a look. You can see it picking up that wrinkling. So that's three fingers sliding left and right. Just you know, and that's exactly why we did that lighting scenario last time, is because this has helped us uh, massively with with being able to view what we're doing. Um, you know, you can see different angles now are gonna are gonna read completely differently. So that that's why we've got that. Um, that that ability to move that 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 lighting around. Let's come up the leg with some of them. And then up on the knee, underneath, up under the belly. And that's probably enough for now. On this first pass, we don't we don't want to go too heavy. And then I'll just show you why we did the layering. Um, so in the layer system now, you can now slide that back and you can see those layers. I basically can call wrinkles now when I need them. So you've got them and the, the, you've got the ability to turn them on and, and off. So that's that's super useful. Um, we'll leave them fully on at the moment. Make a new layer and we're going to call this, um, we'll call it scoots actually. These are the big... Um, parts at the top of the dinosaur, the big scales. Scoots back. I'm going to pick one of these that we painted, which is like, let me find the one that I want. 
have something along the lines of struggling to find it now so something like this one and this one is you'll see straight away it's going to add some really um large detail so let's just do it up here at the front you'll see what it is a little bit more intensity on this one and you can see there it's almost like crocodile skin so it's giving us this really intense scaling on the top. Now, what I would recommend is you turn symmetry off and just do it like that. And that means it, it will give some randomness to it. And also it's not going to go over itself. So straight away, you can see why we did that. It's giving you the scoops really cleanly down the back. Um, like you can see these are scoops here in the middle. It's giving you a really nice... Uh, instant dinosaur look um and obviously we've I've gone through all that with you in the in the alpha of how to make these and paint them so this should be very very simple for you to to emulate and if you can't if you're not too good with 2d or painting then just use mine um but i would encourage you half of the battle of this stuff is you learning how to do it not using brushes i don't um one of the things that i get asked the most is can i have your brushes um and to be honest, I don't mind giving them to, to, to artists, but I do find it quite, um, it's a bit of a, a, a cheat and a get out. And I use brushes, so that means that I cheat, you know, at times. But that, that's because I sometimes want to do it to do something quickly. I don't have a problem um, going in and making my own brushes and painting them. And I, and I do really, really think that that's, that's aspirationally something that, that an artist should aim for so that's given me the scoops all the way across the back i don't you know i've done a couple of, of of where they've gone off slightly here on the tail but not totally worried so let's have a look at the layering on that you can see that gives you really nice scoops down the side so that that's good so again i'm going to leave them on fully and i'm going to go add a layer and i'm going to call this one um we'll call this one uh, large scales and with the large scales what I want is the one that was like a dotty alpha this one here and this one you're going to put all over the place so symmetry back on for this one and look at this um, you can see how that's giving you instant mad dinosaur there so intensity down uh, have a look at what one thing I would say with this is I'd knock the table up on the fall off a little bit and it'll give you a little bit more um a little bit more height on the on the individual scales so intensity is down to one so it's almost nothing um and there you go that's exactly what I'm after that that look so I'm going to start at the nose I'm going to turn symmetry off for the first one and then back on and then I'm going to work around the whole of the face. Careful that, you, you know, make sure that when you do this, that you, um, if you're going to go over the top of other ones, just be a little bit mindful that, you you know, you don't want too many in between there. You can see that. Well, they look good. I'm not going to do too many underneath because this is more about the body now. Um, and, and underneath will be wrinkles, a lot more wrinkles. So I'm trying to move them away from each other like so, so that they don't go over the top. And much bigger on the thighs here. Rotate it around with your pen so that the, there's not a, a repeatable pattern being seen. a couple underneath there but nothing major as i said and down the tail i'm just going to do one all the way down the side of the tail zoom in there we go and that's given us some quite nice detail there and um, we could do individuals we can do lots of little individuals let's try it with the lighting should be able to see that's giving you some really nice surface detail over the top of your primary then secondary form. So this 
this, I, I actually enjoy this bit uh, a lot because um, I'm really seeing the, the result. Look at, look at the wrinkles underneath now. Look how it's affecting the body underneath. So if you hadn't done all of that pre-work and you hadn't got it right underneath, then this wouldn't, this wouldn't be, you know, working for you. Wouldn't give you anything that, that you know, it just wouldn't look good. So all the, all the pre-work's done so you can enjoy this and not worry about your forms being, you know, badly wrong. Okay, next one. So let's add another layer and we'll call this one um, uh, minor, well, it's wrinkles, it's, it's small wrinkles basically. So we can just call it small wrinkles. Small wrinkles. And this is mainly underneath. So I've made a couple of brushes and again, I think I, I've, I've given them to you so you should be able to find them. If you can see ones like um, I'll show it on the screen so I'm really clear which one that, that, that I'm, I'm using. Um, use ones like this one and then go underneath and then you'll see what these look like. Um, make sure it's subbed and these are really heavy wrinkles. Go a bit heavier on the... Oh, that's too much. That's way too much. Um, let's zoom right in and have a look. So what you're after is baggy wrinkles underneath like this and make sure they all go to the center um in fact undo that i did i left symmetry on so definitely think that this is somewhere that you can go you know non-symmetrical certainly on the middle um you know you don't really want to be doing that middle bit symmetrically or, or it'll look odd and then here down the side nice low intensity you can really add, see that's adding the neck wrinkles now. And it's giving you the veins that you, you would want down the, 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 the sides here. I'm doing it both ways, so that's crisscrossing. I'm turning sub on and off, so you get increases and uh, you know, you're getting them coming up and coming down. Um, now symmetrical here, because it doesn't matter so much. All the way down, all the way underneath. You can see the little, it shows it really well there. There we go. All the way down the tail. Let's move that light in, see? You can see now that that's really, really looks nice over the top. Um, if you do it over the top of the scales, there you're going to get nice crisscrossing. Now, what about just inside the mouth here? So that would be helping us with the the muscles there, at the side, and that would probably be enough. Let's let's switch now. The layering system isn't on the tongue, but um, we can just basically sculpt that tongue like that. And I'm going to switch to a more blobby, um, scaly kind of um, something like this, which is scales for the tongue, just to get some kind of a, a you know, the, the tongue needs some kind of surface detail on it. Now you can go crazy with this. You can you you can carry on as long as you want with this, um, and find all of the different um, uh, you know you know you you're gonna need um, to spend as much time as you feel you need on this to you know to get to get your dinosaur up to up to scratch. But that that's the essence of how to do it. What I would suggest a couple of tips is uh, do it all on the layers, and and then we'll we'll show you. I'll just show you the layers now before we finish. And if it's on layers, what that means is you can peel each layer back as needed. Uh, and also take your time with um, making sure that you're layering it in correctly. Now, let's just quickly do this. So small wrinkles on and off. And this is large wrinkles. And this is scoots. And this is minor wrinkles. So you can just bring in a little bit of each. So you could say, right, small wrinkles are quite good. I might want large scales, maybe not as heavy. And then scoots seem to look good, so we'll keep them at full. 
and obviously ring calls just as and when you feel that you, you need them. Uh, and if it just looks too noisy or you know too much, then just knock it back a little bit whenever you feel you need to. And that's how we, we, we do that level. Now, I what I will do is I'll do one more pass before we finish this with add layer. And we're going to call this scales major scales correctly and I'm going to go um, off on all of the others and that means now I'm going to do a pass with crease on very very small brush quite high intensity and I'm just going to add Oops, I'm not on the base layer there. That's why that's not working. I have to be on the base layer. I have to add major scales like this. So this is, you know, we've done a lot of work with the alpha, but now I've got the alpha laid down. I think what I'll do is now I'll define where I want these big scoots. So just I'll just do a few and show you what I mean. So now I've done those big ones. And then bring back the scoots, for example. You can see where there might be the, the, the level that I want. And that's a great one to, you know, that, that that's a, um, it, you know, we could have done that early on. But I think it looks, you know, once you've got that other detail, then it's a good, you know, that, that that's a good time to, to go back and, and, and assess where you want your major scales. Um, sounds like a music training lesson, doesn't it? Of some kind, major scales and minor scales. Um, and we'd already laid a lot of these wrinkles down, so it's not a huge, uh, you know, it's not a huge change. Um, but right, but doing these scales now, um, like here, and just really embedding them, it might be that you bring these back in in in. Um, in different intensities depending on how it's looking with the other layers but th this is a lot this is this bit is quite experimental um because you can get all kinds of looks this is this is about you spending the hours deciding how you want to build up those scales and ba based off reference and based off your own ideas and designs you can try such a lot so you can see if i go back to the layers now you've got that big scale there and then this one and then this one and then this one so work your way around have a have a good go with that and um, once you've got that all nailed then we can move on to painting the creature I hope you're enjoying these videos and this content and if you are please consider giving us a thumbs up it does help us to get in front of other artists who like this kind of content this is a chapter a second chapter that we've done in two videos all about how to use alphas and it's all part of our how to make a t-rex course and if you're interested in that there's a link down below so you can join in and get onto ipad sculpting and make some amazing creatures don't forget you can subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell and then we can let you know when we're dropping new content which is usually on a Wednesday and a Friday.